finde mir Lakers in Tel Aviv. And because these artists uh, subscribe to all the false uh, ideas about Israel. Now they made an apology. Within one week, Mif made um, an apology in the name of the artist. Saying this is the day where we publicly apologize for our shameful demonization of the world soul Jewish state. And it was like a five to eight minutes video uh, where we used as as much as possible the same uh, sentence structure and words like they had done. We, we only changed the message so that it was an apology <laughs> for their demonization of Israel. So they got their text into uh, Morgenblad, which is one of the most influential cultural uh, news, uh, no, uh, weekly newspapers of Norway. So within one or two days, I sent them min text and I said, you published these artists' texts under the tag of of art. I also made an art project. <laughs> and I had to admit that this is so true to the form of the first art project. <laughs> that, we, that we have to publish also your text. <laughs> and within a week, we wow. made a video of it. This is an example of how we can fight back. We could never have done this if not if, if there wasn't friends of Israel um, uh, paying the wage of myself and my colleagues. We couldn't have done this unless we had a close working relationship with the with, uh, with a film uh, photographer and editor already. So it's this, if you want to look this uh, YouTube video up, it's it's called Norwegian Artist Apologize for Demonizing Israel in the False National Theater. And the the YouTube and the Norwegian Artist Apologize for Demonizing. And here you see yours truly. Um, <laughs> Let Israel live, long live art. You see, we use exact the same uh, the Israel live words like the the same same. Anyway, so this was an, just an example. This is uh, the membership devel development since MIF was started in 1978. MIF grew to all, I'm sorry that it was cut there, but it's 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000. So we grew, to, we grew to 1,800 members in 1986. We were down to 1,000 members in the end of the last uh, millennium. And this is the growth the last 10 years. Now we are more... We are almost 11,000 members in Norway itself. And as I told you, we have 300 members in Denmark in less than one year. But the, this is not only names on the list. It's not only an email list. It's not only likes on Facebook. But it is uh, friends like you of Israel all across Norway who also uh, shared from their, with their financial means. 
fjármagni sínu inn í starfsemina to give MIF more and more financial resources to do this to bring this fight out as widely as possible to the Norwegian so, public. Styrja, styrja til að halda and I will explain to you uh, how this increase in income has uh, has transformed into many good activities. So this is also uh, a comparison between the situation 12 years ago and today. 2019. I won't read everything. You can see that this has grown uh, rapidly. And last year we had more than 1.6 million visits to the website. And the wonderful thing is that Friends of Israel in Norway has given to the cause for Israel in Iceland already more than 800,000 Icelandic kronur. And that has translated into 1,000 what you will see in a minute. So this is the this is the Norwegian website. As um, as we were, uh, I'm here with my two of my colleagues and a third colleague. He continued right on to Norway this morning. And while he traveled back to Norway and his hometown, he, he published this article, 27th of March, that the Hamas, Hamas official says that Iran gave the order to the a missile attack against Israel Hamas earlier this week. Hamas had given the order to Israel. This is an article taken by a book that MIF will be publishing this autumn. That the grains or books that MIF will give out in the summer. How the Jews were persecuted in Libya. What they did in our office in Libya. These are articles only. Uh, this is also another article that I published when I was on the Washington airport. Um, early this morning, Icelandic time. And you see here we have reports from the APEC conference in Washington. And, and a lot of articles. More than 24,000 articles since 2011. Every, every single one of them freely available for students, for anyone. And this website is the is the main reason for me, for MIF's growth. That's why we have decided to give you. Uh, on Iceland, the best tool to develop the Israel uh, cause in Iceland. Best attack it is a throw a star here of Iceland. This is the new. This is the website that you can now use more in the future. Myth.is. I the myth for this. It it. Uh, uh, presents myth. It you can sign in as a member. And um, by but. But, and there's a big but, until now there, there is only three articles. And, and one of my um, greatest wishes for tonight is that one of you or five of you or one one of, thinks that I can help fill this website with good content in Icelandic. Or if you have a nephew or a brother or a sister or a neighbor that you think may be a good person to help fill this website. You understand that I'm incapable of doing that. I have I have uh, showed that clearly the whole evening. <laughs> but you can do it. And the tools, the the tool the tool is given to you. Um, and so I just hope, like 
I was when I started this website daily updates in 2011 no in 2001 I was, I was only 21 years old you were I was only 21 years old but it's the one of the best decisions of my life I'm so happy that even though I had started a career as a in, in a in a mainstream mainstream local newspaper. I happen to have been a winner or a stand that they have been a governor. I decided to burn my name publicly as a friend of Israel. How how by a brand on up me to open a major fear of Israel. It's one of the like apart from deeply personal things. A fear of the personal is is some of the best. It's one of the best things in my life. Ah, that that the best thing you get. And those are the people we seek. In Iceland, that will do the Iceland. same. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do this in a hidden way. We will not get it in We want to do this in an open journalistic way. We will get the open house where, where we bring the truth. How man learn, how we, man learn. We go past the mainstream media. We will from here all the first million. And the first months, maybe you will speak only to a few dozen of people but as you, as you find as the next Icelandic election approaches maybe there will be a person in this audience that exposes the anti-Israel uh, agenda of some certain parties makes an article and I can promise you the day such an article is on in Icelandic, I will I will know how to make it go viral or reach a lot of people oh, yeah. through paid adver advertisements oh, yes, on Facebook. So how many people are we here today? How many? Is 60? Oh, so 70 maybe? 50. 50? Thanks. Everyone came, or we we didn't put an ad in any newspaper. <laughs> but mostly it was spread through Facebook and obviously uh, through friends. Anyway, I have to go back to the flow of my presentation. Otherwise, I will. We won't get home tonight. Yeah, but like, just a point. Already, like I said, this is online. You can go this very night. You can go in to myth.is. And, and, and you can op you can read this article, for example. Or, or this Israel as a ref as a harbor of refuge. And you can share it on Facebook. on Facebook. Or however you can, or if maybe if you're not on Facebook, you can just. Copy the link and send it to all your friends and, uh, on, on email or, or SMS or WhatsApp or whatever, SMS, uh, whatever you need, whatever you use. That's the key of how we have grown and grown and grown and grown in Norway. It's because it in friends of Israel like yourself, Israel, so they, they appreciate what they read on our website they and listen. they share it with others. And they have some, many of them appreciate it so much that they also put money into our budget. And, cons, and, and obviously that budget is used to create the content. But, but it's also used to uh, in marketing to spread it widely. And like to market it. Here we go. <clears throat> if you want to support me, if the only thing I ask you about is if you agree about this. Um, this is the time to present one of my, my colleagues who are here. Like, uh, you, you can see him, say hello to Gav, give him an applause. Yeah, not to... <laughs> so, 
So, Geir has completely different beliefs than me Geir er uh, bara trú heldur ég. in regards to religion. Bara trú, trú and we have ex- very different background, comes from different, extreme different parts of Norway. I think almost, obviously, great is, Geir is a great guy and I, and I like him and his humor and everything. Yeah, the most, the most, the most the what we agree about is basically this. And <laughs> Myth is about sharing information. Uh, we support the right of the Jewish people to a national homeland. We support the solution to the refugee problem that is not a threat to Israel as a Jewish state. <coughs> if you remember from the first session, this is almost exactly the wording of John Kerry. And this was the wording of MIF since the 1970s. So it's not that Kerry was, was, uh, we, it's not that we are copying Kerry. Um, MIF thinks the conflict should be solved in direct nego- negotiations. MIF reject organizations that do not want to recognize Israel. MIF is non-religious and non-partisan. That means if you come from the most left-wing party on Iceland, and if you come to me tonight and say, Conrad, I, I agree in everything of this, I would embrace you and say, would you, wa- would you like to be our director on Iceland? Or would you like to be a ju- our journalist? That's how relentlessly I want to be um, non-partisan. And the wonderful thing is that this is working in MIF and it has been working for more than 40 years. In our, uh, in one of our uh, local branches uh, where they said that there are seven members of the board and they vote five different political parties. So I'm, I'm, I'm now going through seven s- factors of success. This was number one, focus purpose. F- factor number two <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that they have given, they have, uh, they have many um, members of MIF has been faithful for many years. Like I told you, the founder is still a member of the board. But they have also run the risk of using young energy. This is the first newspaper I designed for me, 16 years old. <laughs> I had no education in graphic design. And I had I had a photo archive that was many years old. Well, you know, the marker or a mint sap. And it looks horrible. <laughs> but if you look at our material today, and a little of season of I, I think even I can say it looks a little bit better. But they were willing. They were willing to have uh, to make a 16-year-old do this work. And an instrument in the heaven gonna work till Puna Leo Mir Saxon or Gutterma Pruveta. It's amazing. It blows my mind if my, my oldest daughter is now 14. Would I have given her an, an opportunity like that in two years time? It's truly wonderful how, what the board did that time. Success, success factor number three. That is a wise information strategy. The wisdom is that Tonight, I hope you haven't heard any of my opinions. <laughs> you haven't heard, you don't know my opinions about how the conf- conflict should be solved. I hope I haven't indicated in any way whether I support 
uh, left center parties of Israel or right right center parties of Israel. But I hope that you have gotten to see that um, myth is about painting the whole as broad as possible the Israeli debate. And myth tengur út að það mála svo stór og breyðu mynd af vandamálinu í Ísrael. So if you want to work for myth on Iceland, you have to put all your religious hang-ups aside. Og þá lætur alltaf þína trúarlegu skoðanir. And all your own political agendas aside. Og politisku skoðanir. And join us in the work of explaining the Israelis perspectives. Og starfið mun felast í því að útstýra þetta frá sjónuhorni Ísraelsmanna. Because that's what we do. Því það er það sem við gerum. Many friends of Israel have their own agenda about Israel. Margir vinnir Ísraels hafa sína eigin stefnum varandi að áhómar varandi Ísraels. Maybe especially those who are Christian, but also Jewish friends of Israel. Sérstaklega hefði kristnir líka gyðingarnir. But Chris, and I'm, like I told you, I'm talking to you now as for a minute as a Christian to a Christian. Og nú langum að segja bara svo eitt og blitt svo kristin til þess að þú eru kristin. Fyrir þau eitthvað sem eru kristin. It's so easy to have fancy ideas of what will happen to Israel in the future and things like that. Það er ótrúlega auðvelt að hafa alls konar hugmyndu hvað gerist með Ísrael framtíðinni. I have some ideas but it's more like like we had earlier today a mist. It's not that I I see. I I don't think about myself that I see everything clearly that will happen. Yeah, yeah. Mine are human to personal, and that's what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about that. You see that it's more skilled. And I'm so thankful that it's not part of my job to know anything about that or or communicate anything about that. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that that's not part of my job to know anything about that or communicate anything about that. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that that's not part of my job to know anything about that or communicate anything about that. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that Kannski deili í kirkjunum minni eða börnunum minni, fjölstundum minni, eitthvað mínu skoðunum. But MIF is not about that. En MIF gengur ekki út á það. MIF is about reading the Israeli newspapers. MIF gengur út á að lesa það sem er að gerast í Israel. The opinions, listening to what Israeli leaders are saying. Skoðanir, heyra hvað Israels leitóðnir er að segja. Explaining as best and precisely as possible how the Israelis understand their situation. What they think about the future. Hvað finnst þeim um framtíðina? So I hope... It's important to make this clear so you won't be disappointed on, uh, uh, up the road. Like, like the strongly conservative old lady that, was in, that I met in a meeting in Lofoten uh, a few years back. And I gave a lecture similar to the one I gave in the first session. And she said, she raised up in all her, in all her splendor. Uh, splendor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I said I agree to everything you said, but I but I miss the word of God. And I, I, I said many respectful words to her as well, but I said I, yes, hope, I, I hope that in every uh, I hope that in every MIF meeting you will come to in the future. Yes, I you wanna acquire fun to some kill to MIF from team. You will also miss the word of God. I found the relief for a leak of me so good soft. MIF is not about the word of God. MIF for X needs to give you this about the situation in Israel 2019. MIF needs to as we understand it with our theological analysis. But as much as possible how the Israelis and different groups within the Israeli society. So we, but also giving priority to the viewpoints of the big groups in Israel politics with a natural emphasis on the policy of the ruling Israeli government. Since Israel is a democracy. Success factor number four, we already discussed. Og fjórði þáttur, við byndum staðan sá hann áðan, þá var vefsi hann. I think this is 2006. 2006 sýnist með þessi punktur vera. And there was a war with Hezbollah. Og það var stríð við Hezbollah. And you see, 
a big increase in, in numbers of visitors. And I thought, oh, this is amazing. Said, wow, so many thing. people come to read our information. So but then you see a few, a few quarter, quarters of a year later, the, the high point is the new normal. In quiet times of Israel, in quiet times in Israel, the the police, Israel. still the visit, visits continue to grow. Two, two, 2009, Gaza war. And you see, slowly by slowly, or this is the new normal. And now, I'm I don't exactly sure when this ended, but the normal now is up here. And we're, we're high, uh, and to give here. it a number like 150,000 visitors every month. Or every month, 150,000 Half of Iceland, isn't it? And this is the time to introduce to you the other Kali Shetil. Or Noor Noor Shetil. He's in the back there. Can you wave to them, Shetil? And they get it yeah, at the at the some uh, some uh, he, he joined me as a uh, organizational secretary in October 2015 full time. Ah, uh, Gary already met. And uh, and we have to be He went back after three days in Washington. He hurried back to be with his family. Han han for our the and another success factor is that um, the board of MIF is already always keen to grow more. <laughs> oh, uh, eight, eight lika, er a so the long time goal that the uh, board has told me to work against is reaching 18,000 members in, two, in 2018. <laughs> and this is also where you can help if you join tonight. You bring us a bit closer to this. So I will explain to you a couple uh, or seven ways Smith is working. So what do you what do you receive when joining Myth as a member in Norway? Every second month you get a newspaper at least 24 pages. Several times a year you get uh, uh, fundraising letters with news describing the campaigns describing the results I want to share with you something wonderful. Um, last year, uh, there in Norway they have an Operation Day work in the school. I'm not sure if you have the same in Iceland, but the students work for one day and then they give the money to a humanitarian cause. And last year they decided to give the money to YMCA in Norway and YMCA in uh, the Palestinian territories. Groups that support boycott of Israel Groups that support the right of return, meaning they don't see Israel as a Jewish state in the future. So the whole project was born in sin. And from the day after it was decided, I think in February, MIF started to criticize it. And, and then we read exactly the wording of the application. And, and we criticized that. And then uh, in the few months before it started, we, we made a video, five minutes, with a young girl um, narrating the story about why Operation Dagsverk 
was so bad this year. Og það sem að ung stúlka fór yfir það akkur þetta væri þessi vinnudag og væri svo slæm hugmynd þetta árið. And as they rolled out their information material and videos all throughout from August, September, Og ágúst og sættum með þegar voru ekki með kynningarefni í gangi. Every, every item they published that was bad against Israel, og allt we criticized. Allt sem sett út og gaggrindi að koma í gegn Ísrael, þá gaggrindum við það. And we paid for this video to, to reach tens of thousands of young people. Og við, við greindum fyrir það að marka settu video þannig að það fór náðu tugþúsundum með And we pinpointed ad, 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 advertisement. Og to reach those ages og við settum sérstakar auðsingar þegar ná til unga, unga fólksins and we put whole page advertisements og bara heiblast við auðsingar in all the largest newspaper of Norway and all this was funded by people like you og allt þetta var fjármagna af when I speak in a local branch of myth the audience looks exactly like you. Þegar ég tala í einhverum einhverum hópi í MIF í Rorri þá var lítur hópurinn alveg eins út eins og þið. But because so many people stand together and since, and since they answer so positively when we say now we are going to put in ads in all the no largest Norwegian newspapers and it's going to cost. Og við fáum svo góð viðbrögð frá fólkinu þegar sé við þeim að auðleysi öllum blaðblöðunum og það kostar. They bless us with more money than ever before. Þá koma þeim með meiri pening heldur nokk tímur áður. Then we understand that this is something that is appreciated. Þá skiljum við að þetta er eitthvað sem fólkinu dýrmætt. So depending on how you calculate we probably used around less than 300,000 Norwegian kroner for the marketing. Við notum sem senna undir 300,000 kroner norskum til þess að markasitt þetta. The, the, the campaign was reduced by more than 3.4 million. The, their campaign? The, the campaign, the, the money that they collected to the Palestinians. Peningur sem að við söfnum saman fyrir Palestinian var was reduced from the day from the project the year before with 3.4 million. And, and if you look at the average income of this national project for the last seven years, it was reduced with 9 million kroner. So what the Friends of Israel just did last year, they invested 300,000 kroner in MIF, but they invested much more, and obviously there are there are hidden costs uh, running all this operation. <laughs> but they reduced the strength of boycott organizations with six, seven, eight, maybe nine million crores. And the draw attendant rule because of MIF's because, because of, myth, because of myths, uh, criticism that reached also. Uh, the editorial pages of so many uh, newspapers and brought us into the biggest uh, debates in TV, radio. <laughs> so many people are now aware that when, as, as they hear criticism of Israel, they know that there is a group that supports so many of the, in ma many of the in many many of these youngsters they would never join our organization but in 10 years they will know that in 2018 when I was in high school and there was a group that reminded me that boycott of Israel is immoral there was a group that warned me against giving money to groups that saying that they support political aims that will destroy the Jewish state and next time there is a war and people rally around demonizing Israel and boycotting Israel. They will know which internet searches to do to find alternative information. 
And that's what I want for Iceland. Iceland. That when a music band and that call themselves haters. Yeah. The teenagers of Iceland know that there is a place that's called peace with Israel. Where they can read peace, peacefully about what is the reason why there needs to be a Jewish state? Where they can read that Israel has killed less than much less than one percent of everyone killed by state since 1993. And understand how how uh, extremely unrighteous it is okay, so for Iceland for an for Icelandic artist to use double standard on Israel and demonize the, the only Jewish state <laughs> when they don't care what Norway did in Libya. The haters of Iceland would gladly perform in Norway. Even though Norway has probably killed as many Afghanistani people the last 15 years than Iceland. That, so, then, that Israel killed in the whole of the first and so, the second Intifada so combined. Maybe you haven't heard about that. <laughs> Maybe the Icelandic media is not interested in really covering the horribleness of Norwegian, how Norway and Denmark have been fighting wars in, 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 in Afghanistan. So like, so like I said, Israeli officers have done horrible things. But you have to compare, you have to compare them to the rest of the world, not to a, a, like a, a fantasy standard that you think uh, that they should be like Sunday school boys. Anyway, I'm coming um, away from the floor. So we also communicate by email, SMS. We have two, SMS. two national conferences, local branches in 18 of the 19 counties. And this last week, uh, we started uh, branch number 30. So we, and we have an internal task, meaning that we want to speak to a friendly audience like this. But um, we uh, but we also have a task of reading as many as possible. And we have like that mark me a But I want to stop for a minute with this quote. It's from 1980. Many, many people are friends of Israel based on a shaky ground. They feel uncertain and uncomfortable about their support when Israel is criticized. So you think it's only in 2019 it was difficult? This was 1980. But then he continues to say, It's not easy to defend Israel, they say. Myth's task is to remove this uncertainty. So if I if I had given you tonight a couple of facts or some ideas that will strengthen you and embolden you in, in your family, in your workplace, in, in your church, among your neighbors, to stand up for Israel. I have done my I have done my work. As defined for me by the founder the year after I was born. So the way MIF is working, after we after we grew um, by um, 
attracting members in their plus 50s. The low, the low hanging fruit of people that have no history and and sympathize with Israel. He says this have this has given us now uh, um, resources to to work uh, with young people in a very focused way. Only a few weeks ago, my colleague Shetl, who is responsible for the youth work in MIF, oh. he traveled around the whole west coast of Norway, <laughs> together with two young Israelis. <laughs> they met more than 300 high school uh, and upper primary uh, school, school students. They spoke to hundreds of friends of Israel like you in uh, Four local branches, what's it three, three or four. Three or four, and, and, and they and they taught uh, a group of young, talented MIF members from across the country the, a whole weekend together with myself. So when I started joining MIF in 1990s, it was nothing like that. I usually was the only young person. You were the only one? Yeah, usually. So again, we have to think long term. We, we would wish there was 15 teenagers here tonight. But maybe in five years time or seven years time, Friends of Israel in Iceland has rallied so much together that you can bring a couple of Israeli youngsters. And you have so many contacts in the Icelandic public that you can bring a group together and and, and share so, so life and information. So this is, this part of the presentation is taken from, uh, I present MIF, I presented MIF in Jerusalem in June last year. And I, I was speaking to maybe 50 or 70 leaders of organizations similar to me for pro-Israel uh, from across the world. And almost all of them are funded by rich uncles. Or, or rich aunties. Or rich organizations. Myth do not work like that. We never support one uh, one krona from the Israeli government. We would never be interested in accepting it. We don't receive any money from any Israeli or American organization. Although we would probably be open for receiving that unless it wasn't shifting our focus. Obviously, we don't support. We don't receive any support from the Norwegian government. It's mostly funded by by me sending a letter saying that, uh, like this from 2014. Uh, Israel is in war. Israel is in war. We have we have ordered a big newspaper ads to explain the situation we for the Norwegian But we don't really have a budget and we to, to pay, pay the bills. bills. And this letter is still the re record letter <laughs> that we sent. Like Friends of Israel gave us much more than the than the ads well, eh, costed. And and it was mostly, it's, it's like small donations. So it, it's, so I, I just mm -hmm. want to share this as an encouragement. I mean, because if we, see, if we seek that big sponsors that can give us and and later can, can store give you millions of Icelandic kroner, probably you will dis be disappointed, <laughs> never find it. But if you yourself <coughs> give 
Dawson Icelandic runner. Thousand Islandska. And your friend gives. Og vinur þinn. And their friend gives. Og þeirra vinur. This is how it works. This is how a grassroots movement works. And that's what I wish for you on Iceland. In the last um, nine years, uh, slowly by slowly, we have published this magazine in 18 of 19 counties. In Norway. I outer and medium system in Norway. Um, counties, you know, Fylke, yeah. yeah. Would you say Fylke in Iceland? Yeah. 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 So we have covered everything of Norway except Finnmark. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in February we sent it to Norland. So this, this magazine, I wish, if we get someone to help us translate into Icelandic, the articles in this magazine, yeah. 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 will be the first. Every one of them are short. <coughs> everyone is in a simple language that yeah, everyone can understand. But everyone will have a greater understanding of Israel if they care to read it. But not everyone cares to read a newspaper anymore. <laughs> but we also have a little folder like this. One, two, three. There is only one Jewish state. The Jews were 2% of the population in the Arab world. And the size of Israel is less than 0.2%. And what I already told you about settlements, that they consist 3% of the West Bank. So one, two, three points that is not covered in the media. But that a friend of Israel can easily share this is just examples of the tools we have available. And we publish books. We give a And we publish uh, and we do um, SMS fundraising. So uh, May 2018, it's fantastic to see the US Embassy open in Jerusalem. And I, and I send this message out to maybe 5,000 phone numbers. And, and within, one, within, within 24 hours, 600 of them have answered with a code word. And strengthen our budget with 150,000 Norwegian kroner. So, uh, so obviously, some people will think, oh, has, as a hassle, Mif is asking for money again. But 10% were happy to give whatever, um, uh, I think, 200 Norwegian kroner in this specific case. When you, when you fight a good fight, people appreciate to be able to give. And then another part that is uh, a big, uh, yeah, another thing that's a big part of our success is how we work on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. And we already have a uh, Myth Iceland Facebook page we are in Myth Island, that we Facebook inherited Island. from uh, uh, Aviv. Uh, so if, yeah. if you aren't uh, following that page already, please do. And I already told you about uh, newspaper ads, and we have also had big pro-Israel rallies, dem demonstrations in Oslo. in Oslo, and we do a lot of other things. Um, yeah, we live streaming on YouTube and Facebook. From YouTube, we live streaming on Facebook. What is meeting in local branches? Imagine that uh, thirty or at least twenty-five places around Norway they have regular meetings like this. Even to go to a Mr. Tutu film star in Norway, it's such a, it's such a gives such a strength for local uh, people. I see it. The time is 10. Do you have five minutes more?
Klokkan er tíu. Can you give me five minutes more? Eigum við fimm myndur við gott? Já. 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 Seven takeaways. Agree about the basics. Sjör hlutir til að þakka með sér heim. Samþykja grundur. Communicate differing Israeli perspectives, not your own ideas. Og miðla, sem sagt, frá Ísrael ekki þinn veginn hugmyndum. Build one central membership database. Og meina einn meðlema, einn meðlemaskrá. That's where MIF in Norway can help you. MIF getur hjálpa þarna. Do not be afraid to ask for funding. Ekki vera hrættur að byrja um peningum þörfum þér. We can help, you can help you there as well. Hire professional staff with the heart of a journalist. Obviously, I don't see that we can have professional staff in the nearest future on Iceland. But I really hope that we can hope we can get some that in the beginning are willing to be a volunteer, and if we find the right person that can run with the torch, I'm sure we can find. Solutions. En en það er að þetta finna lausn á því að ef rétti aðalinn kemur fram. Já. En held the local branch to succeed, it's not so much relevant here, but maybe in the future we will have several local branches in Ísland. En það eru nokkur í hópar á landi um landi okkar að vinnum og þá þurfum að styrkja og standa með þeim. This is not to make myth grow more. The reason why we support Israel is not because we care for ourselves. If we support Israel because we have read somewhere that if we bless Israel, we will we 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 will ourselves be blessed. And if we and if we support Israel only of that reason, we will be tired. We will be disappointed. And we will stop support Israel. We support Israel because the modern state of Israel has given the Jewish people hope after their the biggest tragedy in history. We support Israel because it has made the Hebrew language come alive. Við stiðum í Ísrael vegna þess að það að hebreskan hefur lipna við. We support Israel because it's the guarantee of Jewish life, not only in Israel, but across the world. Við stiðum í Ísrael vegna þess að það tryggir líf gýðinga ekki bara í Ísrael, heldur um allan heim. We support Israel because of the shame we feel of having persecuted and discriminated Jews in the, in the Christian Europe for 2,000 years. We support Israel even more because we see that the hatred and anti-Semitism again is increasing. We support Israel because we see that what was once thriving Jewish communities in the Arab world is today nothing. We stand to me Israel vegna þess að það sem áðu var var blómleg gyðinga byrði í Arbólöndunum er núna ekkert. In the lifetime of this audience bara á lífti okkar hér the number of Jews in Iraq has decreased from 130,000 þá hefur vanfyldi gyðinga fjöldi gyðinga í Irak fækkað úr 130,000 til less than 5 not five thousand. Five thousand. Five months. Five. Ten gyðingar. If you go to the Anglican priest in Baghdad, you ask him where are the Jews. Anglican, Anglican, what's the matter? He said three or four years ago. Biskupa tilkunar í í Írak í Baghdad og spyr hvað eru gyðingarnir. When a Danish journalist asked him the question three or four years ago, he said now there are five, five, five older ladies. So there are there are ten gamlar konur gyðingar sem næstir. That's why we support Israel. That's right now, still the visa. And because strong forces on Iceland stand up on Iceland, hate that little Jewish state that, that, that supports the Jewish state. We love and support even more. And when they uh, put the whole of Iceland ashamed with their behavior, 
put the whole of Iceland Ísland, ashamed on the worldwide global stage. Skammar, uh, we stand up and give our voices. You want to do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I hope as you uh, leave tonight, we have some papers where you can sign up as member of MIF. Uh, we, don't have the, we don't have the organizational registered and, and a bank account. But measuring from the reception tonight, I think it's we should go ahead. So when you signed up uh, on the paper, in the future you will get information of how to pay the membership fee. But you can also sign up. Uh, on the internet, myth.is, myth.is, Felagaskraning, Felagaskraning, Varta me i Mifa Islandi, Varta me i Mifa Islandi, Tak for a Jera Stoff Nelagi i Miami. Tak for a Jera Stoff Nelagi. You choose, choose if you want to join alone. But the best thing is to join with your family. On, on here, you, there is a, in Danish Krona, that's only because PayPal cannot charge you. Uh, on as, 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 we will find better solutions. But the easiest thing for us is if you join here and not on the paper. And then you, you just change here from uh, paying with PayPal to here paying when you get in the future an invoice. And, and you click send. And I think also one of my colleagues will be here and you can, you can join if you come up here. Just type in the information right away. Or, you can, or you can wait until you come home. But, but only if you promise me to do it. And I shall go over it. And we will also make um, if there is if you want to help pay the expenses of this meeting, we can also we will have a collection with cash. Um, and you can have a, a box outside there. So, can you help with that, Ilo? Fine, yeah. And that uh, yeah. By that, I thank you. I hope to see you again soon. I hope to that you send also myself a friend request on Facebook. Or, and that you talk to me about helping out in any way possible. And, and those who are already know that they want to help they can stay stay here because uh, we are, we um, we we stay on this hotel tonight so we, we have the whole evening you can do that in a few days this lecture both of these lectures will be uploaded on facebook or myth iceland and on youtube or YouTube, and you can start share the word. Or who can be a dealer's murder? Thanks. Thank you.